We've been wearing masks now for weeks, but people still are not wearing their masks correctly. So today we're talking about how not to wear your mask. Okay, the first way you should not wear your mask is this way. How many of you have seen people walking around town with their mask like this? Their nose is sticking out. Guys, this is a no-go. In fact, I heard someone say that this is akin to wearing underwear, but still having your private parts kind of hang outside the underwear, right? Okay, I know it's hard to understand me. It's because I'm wearing a mask, but you get the point. Guys, the nose needs to be covered. Now, the next way that we do not want to see, and this one's even tough for me because look, my, it's coming all the way up to my eyes, but you see here my chin is showing. You don't want your chin to be showing. Your chin needs to be covered. So make sure you yank this mask down. Remember guys, it needs to cover the nose and the mouth and the chin. You wanna adjust it by the straps. Put it on by the straps, take it off by the straps. And then we've got this little situation here, right? Depending on how your mask fits, there are people that will bring it down and let it hang under their chin. Um, as much as this might be nice as a scarf, <laughs> masks are not intended to be that way. So don't bring it down around your neck as fashionable as it might seem. <laughs> Number four, also a fashion statement I might add, but guys, it's going to do no good hanging around one ear. <laughs> so make sure that you keep it on, not halfway hanging off. And of course, one of the worst ways to wear a mask is to, well, not wear a mask at all. Um, so guys, remember, when you're wearing a mask, make sure that you're washing your hands before uh, you put it on and after you take it off. Put your mask on and off with the, the straps here, okay? You don't wanna touch the fabric as much as possible. Do not touch that. Um, for those of you who live in apartment buildings, like myself, put your mask on before you go out into the hallway or to the elevator or things like that because those areas are common areas and they're high touch surfaces. So there could be lots of germs. So put them on in your house if you live in a high rise building. Make sure that you're washing your mask frequently. Ideally, it's great to wash it after every use, but certainly wash it um, once it gets soiled. That's very important, but washing it, you gotta keep this guy clean, very important. And finally, remember, masks do not take the place of social distancing, does not take the place of washing our hands and using hand sanitizer and all that good stuff that we know we need to do. So make sure you're keeping up all of those good practices that we've developed over the last few weeks and keep wearing your masks and wear them the right way, covering your mouth, covering your nose, covering your chin, and making sure that it fits snugly so there's not too much of gapping uh, on the sides. Guys, I hope this was helpful. Please share this video with anyone you think might benefit from it. Um, and also, if you're interested in sending stars, I answer your questions first. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, and I'll see you soon.